Hello. This story is part of a series titled Memories of Tehran. I was eight years old when I first began to go shopping for dinner's freshly baked bread. My father had taught me how. Part of the household chores brother and I shared, depending on what mom had cooking for that night's dinner. We used the bread to separate and scoop the food into our mouths using our fingers. Somehow, it tasted better that way. Tehran having a large Muslim population, some shops served tea, where men gathered after work to talk and unwind, until it was time for them to go home with dinner's freshly baked bread. Welcome to Storytime with Kumars. My name is Keo Jijina, and this is my story titled Bread, Tea, and Sugar. I hope you enjoy it. The bread was known by many names. Sadly now, I only remember a few. Barbari and Nan San Michi. Old timers remind me of others. Lavosh, Sangak, and Taftun. Don't forget the shopping bag and special towel to wrap dinner's freshly baked bread. Otherwise, it will get cool and turn to stale before returning home. That was the rule. In the bread shop, patrons crammed into crowded quarters with a watchful eye to their neighbor, safe keeping their place in line, their turn. Countrymen with weather-beaten faces, short black hair, dark slacks, white shirts, no tie, walking in scuffed black leather shoes molded to their feet. They gather around the table for tea, talking, laughing, telling their stories. A kettle sits atop a brass samovar, heated by a kerosene stove. A bowl of cube sugar passed around. Eager takers, once nestled inside the mouth, melting, savoring, with each sip of the bitter black tea. Smiles on faces, revealing black lined teeth, some filled with gold, others not. Silver cigarette cases, pulled from breast pockets, passed around to share. A match stick strikes the side of a box. The smell of sulfur and tobacco alike permeates the air. All this seemed perfectly natural back then, things we took for granted and did not question. The man behind the counter gives me a nod. It's my turn. I step up to do my bidding. Do barbari merci. Placing the towel on the counter, handing him the change. Soon I am on my way. The buyer of the bread may pinch the first piece. That was my rule on nights I was sent to buy dinners, freshly baked bread. <laughs> 